Hello guys, Mr. Danaman2050 here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to download the mods and actually to burn it to a disc. Now the first part was focusing on how to actually uh, how to actually take your Xbox, Xbox apart, and uh, now that you've done that, you want to be learning how to actually um, get a disc to to actually hot swap um, and to play Call of Duty World at War with all the nice mods. Um, but you sure you actually get a mod menu with this, same as GTA. Um, I did that earlier. If if you want to watch my GTA ISO modding tutorial, there'll be a link at the bottom of the screen and also in the description. Anyway, you you would want to go to uh, Internet Explorer or Google Chrome, Firefox, whatever you may use these days. It doesn't really matter which internet, um, which kind of uh, web browser you use. But uh, yeah, you just need to kind of access the internet. Now, once you've um, gone on to your web browser, uh, you would want to just go to the description um, of this video, and just underneath, you will actually find that there is a link to the Mediafire, and in Mediafire, you should see a load of World of War mods. And um, yeah, give the page a little bit of time to load up, but once it's loaded up, you should see uh, Call of Duty World at War mods Xbox 360. That's what I've put on there. So it's part one, part two, part three. I wrote an email while recording. But yeah, you'll see that there's a lot of parts, and you need to download every single one. There's about there's between 30 to 40 parts. You need to download them individually, same as the GTA ones, um, to get them to work. But yeah, once you download them all, so you just want to click on one, download them. Nice and simple. So once you've, got, once you've got them all downloaded and you've got them on your desktop, you want to go to the folder and just right click on it on any of them. Uh, you need win WinWire installed as well, guys. If you don't have that installed, you should go to the description and install that. So uh, yeah, you, you want to just right click on them and click Extract to or so Extract here, whatever you want to click. So ex click Extract here, and then you should see it, and it'll be like it'll do all this archive thing. It'll uh, extract. But I'm just going to cancel that because I have actually done mine already. So yeah, you just want to right click on on the uh, dot part zero one. Do it on any, but just do it. Just make sure you just do it on one, and you click Extract here or Extract to the folder or whatnot. I haven't bothered what you do. And then once you've actually done that, you will find that if you just scroll down, there will be a uh, Call of Duty World at War dot DVD and a Call of Duty World at War dot ISO. Now next, what you would want to do is actually just go to um, go to your Start menu and open up Image Burn. Uh, this is a free program. If you don't have it as a game, uh, just go to the description and there'll be a link to download it. It's a free program. It shouldn't take you very long to install at all. So once you've actually once you've got this open, you want to click Write Image File to Disk, and then you'd want to click uh, Browse for a File, and you'd want to navigate to where you extracted the archive, and you want to click on the .dvd file. Once you click Open, um, it'll open up, and it'll say Ready at the bottom left. I want to change your write speed to 2.4x. Uh, this is the writing speed it'll burn at, and you just want to click um, right, simple as that. If you can name my DVD drive in the background, lads, feel please forgive me. But yeah, that'll be that'll burn it all to disk, and then that'll be the disk you'll use to hot swap, as shown in the first part. So uh, that'll be that'll kind of conclude this video. There'll be a link somewhere on the screen to go to the third part of this video, uh, this kind of modding series for World of War, and that will tell you how to actually use the mods, how to open the mod menu, and stuff like that for you that are having trouble. And then, as as on my GTA ISO modding that I did um, quite a while ago, um, the fourth part will be kind of general questions. Um, common problems and stuff like that. Anyway guys, thank you for watching up to now. Please feel free to like, comment and also subscribe. Thanks for watching, as again.